Given the size of this channel, I've had to deal with quite a few DMCA claims. I have fought and won for projects I deemed worth fighting for, and abandoned projects I didn't. People gaming the system seems par for the course of making videos here on YouTube. Trash content creators that care more about the bottom line than their ideals put up the minimum resistance necessary to attempt to block me dismantling their ideals. Fighting with other content creators seems to be what you do here on YouTube. I never thought I would get into these fights with YouTube itself, however. I currently have two videos removed by YouTube for apparent violations of their bullying and harassment guidelines. One of these videos is not a project worth fighting for. The other is. In 2011, I mirrored a video of supposed abuse by Judge William Adams. It was back in the day when mirroring videos was a thing you did to promote the cause. Six years later, YouTube somehow thought I was promoting bullying by hosting the video and removed it while giving me a community guidelines strike. I thought it was weird timing wise, given the video was not getting any views and the topic was not in the news anymore, so I appealed the strike and was rejected. Then I carried on creating my signature high caliber content. A few weeks after my Judge Adams video was taken down, I got another email from YouTube stating that a video had been removed. I opened the email and was very surprised to find out one of my Sandy Hook conspiracy debunking videos was flagged and removed. A video debunking Sandy Hook conspiracies, in this case the Crisis Actor conspiracy, was flagged for bullying. I know YouTube has a policy of not explaining its choices, but this seemed ludicrous to me. The email states that the video was reviewed, meaning I assume someone at YouTube watched it. I can only assume the person that reviewed my video confused videos that promote the harassment of Sandy Hook survivors with a video defending them. So I appealed the strike and was rejected within a few days. Also, note that you can only repeal a strike once. So I emailed YouTube partner support regarding this issue and received the most canned automated response possible. I responded again attempting to dig deeper and was asked to provide feedback of all the mountains of help I received. Thanks YouTube, glad to see you really care. So why am I making this video now? I wanted to add my story to the growing list of stories regarding YouTube's sloppy and disappointing censorship attempts. I never expected YouTube to give a shit about me and my channel. I obviously don't make them a lot of money. I also understand the idea behind the guidelines. Taco Bell doesn't want to associate itself with harassing the families of those who died at Sandy Hook. But where does that leave me? I feel like a dolphin caught in a tuna net. I attempt to do well, but it's just one video, one small channel, who the fuck cares, right? <laughs>